Welcome to our Midnight Reflection. I'm Nicola, the vicar at St Mark's, and I'll be leading us through a short time together this evening. I wonder how you're feeling right now. Perhaps you're feeling a sense of anticipation at the pleasure of spending a few days with loved ones in a more normal way. Or you may be feeling distracted by what else you need to remember to get ready for tomorrow. You may be feeling a gap where someone would usually be, an empty chair at the table. Perhaps someone who is no longer with you. Or perhaps the sadness of not being able to spend time with those you love this year. You may be feeling hopeful, or you may be feeling anxious, or tired, or unwell. These past months have been challenging in so many ways, haven't they? But it's Christmas and it's tempting to say, let's put that aside for now. However, I'm not sure that is how God invites us to come to this moment. So I'd like to invite you to take a pause and enter into an imaginative exercise with me. Imagine that you have a small wooden box in front of you with 2020 on it. What would you put in this box from this year? What memories, experiences, emotions? We're going to have a minute of silence now for you to put in the box things that represent this year for you. It's tempting to filter things out and only put in the good things. But let's be honest as we do this activity. We're going to take our box to join and sit with other onlookers to a very human scene, a couple with a newborn baby. Let's find a space and sit quietly. You might smell the animals, you might smell their bedding, hear the noises they make, you might see the starlit sky. I sense the wonder of this moment, this holy night. The cry of a newborn child. So let us begin. And as we do, please join in with the words that will appear in yellow.
on this holiest of nights, we come, joining the shepherds who are stunned by wonder. On this most silent night, we come, our hopes and dreams joining those of Mary and Joseph. On this night of carols and candlelight, we come, our glad songs joining with the choirs of angels over us. Reading from Luke 2. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Here is where we meet you. When all of time is pinned to a few moments, on the edge of everything, teetering on the brink of a new future, here is where we meet you, O oh God. In the last moments of darkness, before the breaking in of the light and the cry of a woman and the birth of love. Here is where we meet you, O oh God. Here is where we meet you as silence deepens and the wonder stretches and the ancient past becomes our longed-for future, and the word of the prophets slip into fulfilment. Here is where we meet you, O oh God. Creating God, hold this moment. And may we breathe along with all those who have been here before to the heartbeat of hope and know this moment so full of expectation is as sacred as they get. For contained here is all the hope of the future and the fulfilling of ancient longing. in the depth of silence, as the universe bends with the weight of anticipation, where the worry is greatest, and the moment most urgent. Here is where we meet you, O oh God, in flesh.
reading from the beginning of John's Gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. The night grows still and we find ourselves in a quiet moment. Now we have an opportunity to bring forward our boxes. To offer to God not who we think we should be or even who we would like to be, but who we are the lived experiences of the past year. Thankful for the blessings, sad for what has been missed, with our worries about the future, our longings, our hopes. If we bring any regrets or shame in our box, Let's not leave them there. Let's take this opportunity to bring everything we have and are to God. Who here in this place has birthed the promised hope and new life for all of us. I invite you to join in the words of our confession. Lord Jesus, this most holy of nights brings me gladness, grief and joy. Gladness because you left the splendour of heaven's glory to come to a dark and cold world, to bring the light and warmth of your kingdom to a world so in need of your love, your peace, your joy. Grief, because you came into the world, yet 
the world did not receive you. You came to your own, and your own did not welcome you. And still today, people turn away from you. I turn away from you. Sin still scars your creation and the hearts of your own people. And joy, because you offer perfect forgiveness and full cleansing to all who acknowledge their need for you. Cleanse my heart tonight, Lord Jesus, so that I may welcome you as I long to, certain that I am also welcomed by you. Amen. Come now to bring our prayers for others before God. Let's take a few moments of quiet as we begin to bring to mind those who we particularly want to pray for this night. Let us pray. Bright, holy God, you come among us. You fill us with awe and wonder. You welcome our whole selves, our stories and our prayers. We pray tonight for peace. Peace in places where there is anger and war and fear. We pray for peacemakers and peacekeepers, for rulers, for politicians, for fighters, for older people and children for all who are caught up in conflict, in bitterness and in danger. We pray for peace with integrity and with justice. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray on this night for travellers, for those who are travelling home for Christmas, for those who are travelling because they have no place, no shelter that they can call their own, for those whose home is temporary. God, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for the children who will be born tonight and for their families. We ask that you send a blessing on their lives. God, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Pray for all those who are sick, for those who are separated from their families because they're having to quarantine, for those who are in hospital with COVID, for those who care for them, 
for those who worry about them. We pray for those who have died, for those we miss at our table. Pray for those who grieve them. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves this night for our own needs, our worries, our hopes and our dreams. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Emmanuel, God with us, Heaven, come down to earth. Help us tonight to listen to the angels. Not be afraid of your weakness or your glory. Come, holy, helpless Jesus. Come into our lives with joy. Amen. We continue our prayers with the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So as we leave this space, may we know God's blessing. The story tells us that it's those who wait in the world's shadows who are the first to know of the Christ child, born into darkness, bringing great light. So let us leave here now to be carriers of the rumour of peace and the truth of love into a world longing for light. Pray for the justice another is waiting for and speak of the hope another needs to breathe. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.